kitchen. <laughs> in our kitchen. <laughs> Except you can't see the kitchen yet because we're leaving that for our guest. How you doing, Steph? Good, how are you? Good, good. A lot of crazy good things that are happening, which I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to talk too much about all of our events. We can save that for next week because this show, I have the Miss Susie Falco on. She is a holistic couch. Health coach. Health coach. <laughs> Sometimes a couch. Or a couch, whichever. <laughs> <laughs> My dress looks like a couch. And and her daughter Lauren <laughs> as well is here, and she's also a health couch, couch. Um, <laughs> sorry, coach. Health coach. Health yes. Health coach. So she's on today because, as I always say, Spirit Connections always likes to enlighten everybody on their spiritual side, their mind side, and also their body side. So this is for the health and wellness aspect. So Susie's going to be whipping up some tasty, delicious treats that are good for our well-being. And she's going to go over what we should eat, what we shouldn't eat, and so forth. So definitely get those questions into the chat room. So, Susie. Okay, hi. Tonight we're going to be doing several things. Um, we're going to try to fit it all into the hour. I have a quinoa Italian-style cold salad that you could actually make the night before and have it the next day, and it'll actually last for three to four days in your refrigerator, so it's a nice meal to have quinoa, which I will grab right here. I already cooked this at home, but it actually only takes 12 minutes to cook, and um, it's a very high protein grain. Uh, the Incas used to use quinoa, you know, thousands and thousands of years ago. They still eat it today, but quinoa is high in protein. It's got all the amino acids, um, it's very energizing, it's a strengthening grain, and they actually used to use it before war. They used to make something called war balls out of it, and it gave them the endurance and the energy to, to stand up to the, um, you know, the, the, the long, long days and weeks and months of war. And when the Spaniards came in, they actually burnt all the quinoa fields down because they knew how strengthening it was, and they had them grow wheat instead. So this is a very, very strengthening grain, very easy to digest, gluten-free, and very high protein, so it's good for everybody. And that's gonna be one meal that we're gonna make, and I have everything chopped and prepped, so I'm just gonna show you how to assemble it. Here, we're just gonna make a nice light salad that can be served with it. And we have some nuts for protein, we have some goat feta cheese for protein, and then we're going to make some homemade chocolate that you don't even have to cook. It's just sort of, you just mix it all together and we're going to put it in the freezer with this ice cube tray and in about 15 minutes you'll have homemade chocolates. It's really pretty amazing. And then we're going to make three different drinks, healthy summer drinks, because um, we see a lot of coffee drinkers and soda drinkers and Gatorade drinkers and that's just really, there's a lot of artificial, you know, the sugar in there, there's a lot of caffeine, there's artificial colors. So this we have, instead of coffee, this is something called Dandy Blend, and it's actually made from dandelions, which I'll explain later when I actually prepare it. Then we're gonna make a healthy version of soda. Then we're going to make a watermelon slushy, and then we're going to make um, citrus-infused water. So we have a lot of stuff. We have there. a lot. That's why lot I said, you know we'll what, do we'll it. skip the upcoming <laughs> events. Oh, no, we're gonna do this, trust me, we're gonna <laughs> do all this. So first we're gonna start with um, the Italian salad. So here we have kale. And a lot of people don't really like kale, and it's because they haven't had it prepared properly. And I know one of you guys tonight said you really like kale soup, which is delicious, but that's for the fall and the winter. Um, for the summer and the springtime, it's nice to have it raw in salads. And so the trick is, I was showing them before, the cameras are on how you actually shuck, it's called shucking a piece of kale. This is a piece of, is it lacinto? Yeah. Yeah, lacinto kale. And this has a big stem on it, which you don't want to eat because it's very, um, very tough and stringy. So this worked a few times when I was it showing you. You just kind of grab it and you pull it and you don't even need a knife and you just toss this piece away. And this is what your kale will end up looking like without the center. Like a necklace. Like, <laughs> like a <laughs> Very good. Kale necklace jewelry. Um, so I chopped it all up so you didn't have to watch me chop it. But this I'm going to actually throw in my blender and we're going to make um, that's going to go in our watermelon smoothie later. So I'm going to throw this in there for now. Kale and watermelon smoothie? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Try to put kale in everything. Try to utilize it. Kale is very high in, oh my gosh, Lauren, right? Vitamin A, vitamin K. It's got calcium, tons of calcium. You don't even need your milk. You just eat this and you'll be all set. 
Actually, quinoa is very high in calcium also. So when you're mixing these two things together, you're, uh, you're really taking care of your bones because it has everything that your bones need to absorb the calcium. And the first thing we have to do is we have to sort of um, break down the kale because it's a little bit chewy. So we're going to do a half a cup of olive oil. I have my little measuring cup here. Actually, I'm sorry, a quarter of a cup of oil quarter of a cup of olive oil. And then we're going to have one whole lemon. So I have my handy dandy lemon squeezer here. It's so much easier than just squeezing everything hand because it gets all the juice out, as you can mm. see. I love lemon. Lemon is so too. good. Maybe it's a, I heard it's a good diuretic, too. It is. If you drink warm lemon water when you wake up in the morning, it like totally gets things going. And it's a good... It plus you have your vitamin C. Yep, yep, it's really, really good. So I did a whole lemon in here. So it's lemon and olive oil. And then, being an Italian salad that it's gonna be, you have to have your garlic. So I peeled the garlic, and I'm just gonna put two cloves. I have a garlic press because, I love garlic presses because you don't have to be chopping it. You just put the garlic right in, and it squeezes it out. So you don't get any big hunks of garlic. You're just getting all the nice juices and very, very fine shreds of garlic. Now garlic is high in antioxidants for yeah. anti-cancer. Yeah, it helps prevent cancer. It's an antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral. It's just a I chew it when I feel sick. She really? <laughs> she does. She chews it when she feels sick. It really, really helps. It kills it kills viruses. I'm pretty sure strep. Does it help with strep? Oh, I'm really? sure about strep. Pretty sure. Um, this strep going around, but it's an odd season for strep, but strep's going strep's around. Strep's going around probably mm -hmm. because of the crazy weather we've had. I just have a little bit of fresh ground pepper. And then this stuff, this stuff is great. This is called herbamare, oh, this is called trocamare. And they also make it herbamare, which is a little bit more spicy. But this is sea salt. And this doctor in, I think he lives in Austria, has these spas. And he gets the salt from France, from the, um, you know, the southern France, amazing seas and he dries them and he infuses them with all these organic herbs so it's like a healthy season salt and I do a half a teaspoon and I'm so used to using my hand my very clean hand I know exactly what a half a <laughs> teaspoon is <laughs> Julia Child do you remember Julia Child that the um cook yeah she she had an episode where how she measured things with her hands and I was like 12 and I watched her and I never forgot it and then raw honey raw honey is an also very healthy it's a very healthy sweetener and this is raw, so it's unprocessed, it's unheated, it has a lot of medicinal properties to it. Um, it's very, very healing. So I put about a teaspoon of the raw honey in there. Now, I'm noticing a lot of your products that you're using are organic. Is there a special area that we can find these items? Well, su or? supermarkets are starting to carry them. I go to my local health store in Quincy, and there's one in Hanover. Um, that's my most favorite place. So that's where I like to go. I like to go to the mom and pop stores. Good Health, it's called Natural Foods and Quincy. How about Whole Ask Foods? Pharrell. Whole Foods is really good too. Whole Foods is excellent. Because I'm seeing more and more of them coming yep. up, especially in the South Shore. So. so as you can see, this is a little bit thick now because the honey and the lemon and the olive oil it just all gets nice and emulsified. I put this all in. should mix the honey a little bit better. Next time, mix the honey. Make sure you mix the honey really well. Then, this is just going to sit a little bit because this has to sort of break down before I put everything else in it. So while this sits, Lauren and I are going to start making the chocolate so we can put it in the freezer. Have you ever made this chocolate before? I have not. So I'm going to teach you right now. Okay, so this just has to sit inside of breakdown. I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to show you. You won't believe how easy this chocolate is. I, I'm just sinful. in amazement that, um, oh, that you'll we're see. having a cooking show here you'll see. on you'll Sphere see. Connections. I'm so excited. <laughs> and sorry for everybody that I'm not talking a lot, That's okay. which I, I seem to always say, but I'm we're just learning. Yeah, I'm learning. I'm just letting you go with because you're inspiring us to be a little bit more domestic. Do you want to talk about how healthy cacao is? This is rock. This is cacao powder. You want to do it? Okay, this is, you know how you hear about dark chocolate and how healthy dark chocolate is for you? 
Oh, they don't mean like Hershey bars or Snicker bars or anything like that. They mean this is a superfood and it's from the cacao bean and it's full of um, flavanols, poly and polyphenols, which are antioxidants. Magnesium. Magnesium, iron, very high in iron, um, very high in fiber, and just it, it tastes really good. Tastes really good. And we all want chocolate. So in coconut oil, some people might think coconut oil isn't isn't healthy. Sorry, it's okay. But this is called first press virgin organic coconut oil, and it's the opposite of unhealthy. This actually helps with weight loss, helps with metabolism. It has something called monolauric acid in it, which is found in breast milk, which helps with um, your immune system. So if you tend to be uh, have a weak immune system, this is really good. It does not raise your cholesterol. It's actually a very healthy saturated fat. It's antifungal, antibacterial. Um, it actually helps your thyroid also. And you can use it multiple ways. You can use it multiple ways. You can cook with it. I cook my eggs in it. I cook my greens in it. You can put it in a smoothie. But right now we're making homemade chocolate. So <laughs> that's going to be the creaminess of the chocolate. So I measured um, three tablespoons of the oil in these little plastic cups. So I have three tablespoons in here. I'll show you what it looks like for them. Can I ask you something really quick sure, about coconut oil? Totally. Well, I just feel like there's a lot of hype about now we have the coconut water. Why do you think it's becoming so big now? Well, I think because the health and wellness um, field is growing and realizing there's all, there are all these other foods around that we don't utilize. And coconut oil has been used, tropical people, I mean, the people who live in the tropics <laughs> have used it. <laughs> tropical, people. tropical people have, you know, thousands of years and it gives them energy. It's actually very, um, the runners, a lot of the runners from the islands use it to give them energy, sustained energy. It's a very, very healthy fat. And coconut water is really, really hydrating. Yeah, hydrating. So it's a great alternative if you're looking to, you know, boost up your electrolytes or and have it during a Have you guys day. tried it? I have. I have tried it all the time. I have. Do you um, know the difference between coconut water and coconut, like how the coconut water is made in coconut oil? No. The coconut oil is from the meat of the coconut, mm -hmm. and then the water is just from, from the water of the coconut. So it's from the same... Um, it's, from same it's from the same mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> from the same mom. All right. Why don't you mix that up? I'm going to grab the honey. We just need a spoonful. So I had three tablespoons of the cocoa, cacao, it's actually called three tablespoons of the oil, so it's always equal amounts. And we have about a tablespoon of raw honey. If you can just stick that in there. I hope we get the recipes after the show. <laughs> yes, tablespoon of raw honey, a little drop of vanilla. I always have to put a little vanilla in, in your chocolate. Oh, geez. Do you want to try to okay. look Sure. Okay. Because I think my hands are a little oily. Oh. I close it extra hard so it wouldn't spill. I got it. I got it. Yes. Awesome. Right, oh, yes. that hurt. You know, sometimes those little caps hurt in hands. Yes. <laughs> did, I just, did you just get that? Get you every time. All right. right. A little bit of mm -hmm. vanilla. And when you make anything with dark chocolate and sugar, believe it or not, you always have to add a little bit of sea salt. And this is called Redmond's Rail Salt. And I don't think you can see with the camera, but it's not even white. It's got pink and brown and gray pieces in it because it's actually, um, they keep all the minerals inside, they don't process it, and it gives it a nice sweet taste. And if you're using regular table salt at home, the reason why it's not bitter is because they add dextrose to it, which is sugar. And so you're getting a really processed um, product, so you're better off having Redmond's Real, real Salt. It smells for me. Yeah, it's really good. So that's, keep stirring. We're gonna add, you can have it plain, but I like to add tangy, Dried cranberries and the craisins that you see a lot in the supermarkets have tons of sugar on them. These cranberries are actually sweetened with apple juice. They're apple juice infused dried cranberries. Where do you get those? At Good Health in, in Quincy and I'm sure Whole Foods has them in other health, health stores. We're just going to put not too many. Just like Speaking of Good Health, Susie has a new fan page on Facebook, Wicked Good Health. Wicked Good Health. So you're going to have to check it out. I know I put it up as a link on my page, Spirit Medium Tiffany, so you guys are going to have to go there. Check them She's out. always putting little always. tidbits. Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> Pictures of actually the little babies that you see <laughs> holding, like, I think, what did he have? He was, like, near all this pasta or something. Whole the dinner laid out. The whole dinner laid out. That's her son, my grandson, Carson. The, these are just sliced and blanched um, almonds. You don't want big hunks of the nuts in the chocolate, but it's nice to have just a few slivers. Should I put some more nuts in there? Maybe. Just a couple more. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm not, I, me I measured the important things. I measured the cocoa, the honey, 
and the oil, but the stuff you throw in, you just kind of have to look. That looks good. I think that looks yeah. good. Now, you're not going to believe how quick this is. It's crazy. A spoon. You just spoon it in like halfway into these little ice cube trays. It's only going to make, I don't know, maybe like eight chocolates, but we'll just feed we'll everybody see. here. It makes right? perfect sense, though, right? Mm -hmm. You don't need, and it's very, very um, rich, so you don't need a lot. Can I lick the bowl? No. Oh. <laughs> no, because it's weird. It's like, a little bit bitter until it freezes. <laughs> and they actually have to be stored in the refrigerator um, when they're done. You can't keep them out, especially in the heat, because oh, they'll yeah. kind of melt. The coconut oil will break down and they'll melt. There you go. Perfect. Like seven and a half. Really dark. Like this is like intense, bitter. So it's, one it's of not those. like kids. I don't know if, I mean, you could put a little bit more honey in it for kids. But um, actually, my daughter did eat it today because. She was upset I didn't offer her any, and she really liked it. Okay. Okay. So these are just going to go in the freezer for 15 minutes, and that'll be done. Okay. So since this has been sitting a little bit, now we're going to just put this all together. Clean this up. So this is the quinoa. This is the grain I was telling you about, and I'm going to grab. Where's my wooden spoon? I'll just use this one. Big, but. Now, Susie, do you go, do people hire you to go to their house to cook for them for a well, period they, of time? They or? did. I stopped doing that, though, because it was a lot of work. I was cooking so much for other people that when I came home, I didn't want to cook. And that's when you just got McDonald's or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I was cooking for other people, you know, I'd come home and I'd just be like, let's have some, like, pasta or cereal or something, because I was so exhausted from cooking all day for other people, so I stopped doing that, but it was fun. I did learn a lot. Do you want me to mix this? Yeah, will you mix that? I, I have a better spoon than that. I just don't know what I did with it. I think it's probably... Oh, here we go. I can let you mix with this one. So it was hard. Um, I did it for about a year and a half, and it was fun. I would go into people's homes and cook literally all day long, but then I'd have to clean. You can use this one. Okay, it's probably easier. Um, I'd have to clean up after myself, which I don't like <laughs> to do. <laughs> But I had to. These are garbanzo beans. This is what they make hummus out of, and um, they add even extra protein and nice softness to the. They're not crunchy at all. They're nice and soft and creamy. No, those like chickpeas. Is chickpeas. That the same thing? Yep. Chickpeas okay. and garbanzo beans. Yep. And then can't have something Italian without tomatoes. I think. Should I do all of them? Yeah. That's like a whole pint of chopped up tomatoes. That was chopped so up good. Tomatoes. I'm getting so hungry right it now. Just, delicious. <laughs> this is like torture for me. Now you don't have to do the onions, but you guys like onions, right? Do you like onions? Okay. I, I probably did a little too much. I'm just going to do it. Yeah. That was, that's perfect. You don't have to do too many onions. That's a great bowl too. Yeah. Perfect size. Perfect size. Now how much um, of the quinoa, oh, the quinoa did you use? Sorry, that was four cups. Four cups? Four okay. cups of cooked quinoa, yep. So this is some nice um, shredded Parmesan cheese. I got this at the health store also from, um, it's organic cheese and it's very important. You wanna see why it's important to use organic cheese? <laughs> well, it doesn't have the added hormones and antibiotics that it would be in, I guess, farm factory? Yes, raised cows. Exactly. Happy cows. So <laughs> this is not a vegan, it's not vegan, it's vegetarian. Right. You could yeah. make it you vegan can make without it vegan. adding the cheese in there. But this, you know, Parmesan is, is, especially if it's organic, and it's from grass-fed cows, which cows that eat the grass have mm -hmm. um, produced a totally different product than cows who eat corn and are, you know, not treated properly. Actually, they, it, it forms something called conjugated linoleic acid in the, in the byproducts in the cheese in the milk and the butter, which um, helps with cholesterol and helps with um, a healthy heart, which is the right. opposite of what you've learned. It depends on the, the quality of the cheese. And last but not least, this is fresh basil and fresh parsley. You put this in at the very end. That looks so good. So see, you have all your greens, you have your color, so you have your red, you have your, um, your greens, you even have the little browns from the garbanzo beans. And you have the purple onions. 
So I have to, you know what I have to do? I have to taste it because I have to make sure I seasoned it properly. Has anybody here ever had quinoa? I, I think so. I probably have. have. I just want to make sure it's seasoned. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh my gosh, so good. I, I, I'm like, <laughs> you have to wait until everything's done. I know. <laughs> so good. I can't even. Now so I know how my dog feels. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously I chopped everything beforehand, but the quinoa takes 12 minutes to cook. And what time did we get here? It wasn't, it didn't take me long to chop that stuff up at all. So it's really. No, it took you probably about 20 minutes yeah, to get everything minutes. prepared. Absolutely. So it'll probably take like. But you have to let the quinoa cool down, so it would take a little bit longer. But um, yeah, it's really not hard at all. And honestly, this I'm almost embarrassed to make the salad because it's so easy. But well, Lauren's going to put the salad together, and I'm going to make almost the exact same dressing that I just made. I should have done double recipe, but I wasn't thinking. So you can tell what's in the, in the salad. <laughs> all right. We have, yeah, the cheese, the peppers, the scallions, the cucumbers. And I'm going to do the exact same dressing as I just did. So the quarter cup of olive oil. This is like my go my kids are so obsessed with this dressing. And let me tell you, bottle dressings have, they don't use olive oil. This is nice, delicious, imported olive oil. Um, <laughs> bottle salad dressings use canola oil, which is highly, you know, it's very, what do you think about canola oil line? I don't have know. Have you heard mixed? mixed. The, way it's, the way it's produced. It's just, I don't know. I just, I think it's... Olive oil tastes better. Olive oil tastes better, but the health properties are so much better, too. Um, canola oil, I don't... They, they have canola oil, soy oil. They have a lot of sugar. And um, I'm just not a fan of bottle salad dressings. And occasionally when I do buy them, my kids are like, I want you to make your homemade dressing. So now in the salad, we have some baby romaine. Baby romaine, red peppers, walnuts, cucumbers, scallions, and is this feta uh, goat cheese? Oh, and I forgot, yeah, that's goat feta, and we forgot the avocado. Um, so the avocado, I just, this is an avocado. <laughs> you can tell it's ripe by when you press it, and it's not too hard, but it's, your finger doesn't sink too in. And all I did was cut it down the center, and this is the little, uh, the little pit, obviously you don't want to eat. And a real easy thing to do is you just get the knife, and you cut little lines without cutting your finger like a little checkerboard, and then, do you have that little spoon again? Mm-mm. No, <coughs> I'll get you the spoon. Squeeze it out. Yeah, you can squeeze it out. I'll see if I can find that spoon. It's fine. You got it? Mm-hmm. Now, how can you guys just prepare food and not eat at the same time? I don't know, actually. <laughs> I'm afraid, I usually take the pit out properly, but I'm afraid that I don't have the right knife. Put some avocado in here. Avocado, what's so good about avocado? It's a healthy fat, real healthy fat. And it's got 11 grams of fiber per serving, which is a lot of fiber. People don't think avocados have a lot of fiber because they're so creamy and they're not like crunchy, but they're really amazing. Now you're supposed to have 28 grams of fiber a day, is that right? Yeah, mm -hmm. generally that's what you're supposed to yeah. have. Most people don't have enough fiber. Oh, did I finish? Hold on, no, I didn't no. put the honey in it. I have to put the raw honey. I like to put a little raw honey in the dressing because um, it makes it thicker and emulsifies it. You have to have a little, just a little bit. What does it say? I saw it on the register the other day um, about the honeybees. What does it say about the honeybees now? The honeybees the population is depleting. Oh, that's been, they've been saying that for a while. For a long time, but now mm -hmm. they're saying that because a third of our food supply is um is created basically by the bees and they don't understand why the bee population is being destroyed some scientists say it's genetically modified foods that the foods that are grown so artificially the honeybees aren't um Surviving. drawn to it no they're not oh. drawn they don't want anything to do with those vegetables and the fruits or the grains or whatever and they stay away and um I don't know, That's there's, there's mixed opinions about that too, but they really haven't come down with a, what exactly is going on, but it's really, really very scary actually. Okay. Just put this in. Honestly, it's the same dressing. You see how easy it is. A quarter of a cup of olive oil, the whole lemon, 
If you don't have um, that salt, you can just use sea salt and pepper or salt and pepper. <laughs> it's really good to have raw honey around though because that's great for a sore throat. Cough. It's great for a cough. Mm. It's even great for burns. Did you hear that? It's good for burns. You put it on a burn. I didn't. Yep. It's supposed to be even better than like antibiotic cream. Well, I know that they use man the Manuka honey. That's right. Burns. That's right. But that's. Where's that honey from? New Zealand. New Zealand. Now, one of the first times I met Susie was at the Hope Floats retreat. Yes. She was preparing all the food. And that was crazy, right? Yeah, and you you insisted that I tried your vegetable lasagna. Oh my gosh, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's so good. That's right. Yes. I haven't made that for a long time. Because that take, that's something that takes a lot of time to make. And it was that's delicious. It is. It's really good. You had me addicted since then. That was, I don't even use cheese in that lasagna. That's a vegan one. I use cashews for the cheese. I make cheese so out of good. guns. All right, so we're going to get on the... Um, the drinks now. All right. Okay, so this is going to be first of all the infused, the infused um, citrus water. And Lauren was nice enough to cut all this stuff up for me. So what we're going to do here? Now, how long should we keep the chocolate in for? Fifteen minutes. You're it's unbelievable. With the I know. Chocolate. I. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, four, well, she four had days. She, four <laughs> days to she had me at the bean brownies. <laughs> okay, so if you put the um, the stuff in. I'm going to get a special spoon. I have to find my wooden spoon that I brought that actually helps break that down and then we're going to pour the ice on the top. So now we're doing a citrus citrus infused water? Mm -hmm. Yeah, citrus infused water. Oh, I'll use that. Let spoon. me ask you something because yes. I've, I've gone to a lot of Thai restaurants That's and okay. they've That's had um, cucumber water. Oh yes! I was going to do yeah, cucumber what's... water tonight. Just really refreshing and it's very cleansing, very refreshing. Um, it's supposed to help with bloating. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> now I have some fresh mint. We're just gonna go like this. So Ooh. if you can see it's mint. And you just this is kind of like muddle it. This is yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I thought I brought a wooden spoon to do this, but I'm glad I have this. You don't wanna like really break down everything too much, but you just wanna kinda smush everything in here into the center. Just a little bit. And then I just get a bunch of Ice cubes, which I'm sorry, have this big bag right here. <laughs> it's be a little noisy. So this is really good. Obviously, everybody knows who's watching this how hot. Is this just local? The show? Um, well, it's local for now, but then I also have YouTube, so I put it on YouTube. So it's gonna be within the next day or so. Okay. So. Fill the whole thing with ice, as you can see, and then put this back in here. So it's not the chocolate I'm taking. I know. I'm like, <laughs> as you can tell, I've been waiting all day for this show. I hope it comes out good. Let's see. Then you just pour water. This is like the easiest thing in the world. Now I'm hoping we have cups and we have... <laughs> I brought two cups. We have cups. <laughs> okay. I was just thinking, I'm like, I, I didn't know what no I hope we have cups. I hope... See how pretty that is, though? Yeah. And this just goes into the refrigerator. Usually these little pieces of fruit will kind of float up the sides, but... So this is nice. We're going to put this here. This is great. Yeah, good. Things are floating up. <laughs> this is great to keep in the refrigerator all day long. And then you just, instead of having plain water, it's great for people who don't like plain water. And that's one of the main complaints of my clients is I hate water, I don't want to drink water. We'll do this and it tastes really good. And you're yes. not getting any sugar, you're just getting um, yes. the taste, the infusion. <laughs> if you so go, green. Let me do, that's good. Now, should we do the loud one now or the quiet drink now? I'm gonna actually take this. Whatever you feel, I'm still just, Think about I'm like chocolate. Pablo's dog here. <laughs> Okay, so you don't mind if this is a little, this is going to be loud for like 30 seconds. This is a Vitamix, but you can do this in a blender. And honestly, all it is, is, this is my white, is my white measuring cup here? You're supposed to do about two cups here, this. Two cups of watermelon, I'm just going to do a little bit more. So I put this watermelon in the freezer a little bit just to make it extra cold. Whoa, 
Okay, I'm just gonna do a little extra. So I would say three cups of watermelon, two to three cups of watermelon that you chop and you put in the freezer a little bit so it's nice and cold, okay? Then we're gonna do a half a cup of pomegranate juice, which pomegranates are, as you can see, the heart on there. Ooh, heart. I'm oh, just talking yeah, about hearts. Um, a half a cup of pomegranate juice. Pomegranate is great for the heart. Great, the same thing as the chocolate. It's got the um, antioxidants. I don't think I ever tried pomegranate. Oh, it's so good. So good. Have you ever had a pomegranate? Like the regular no. I've had that. Pomegranate juice. So what's the difference between fruit that you buy from Whole Foods or fruit that you buy from like say Stop and Shop or? You mean like any like um, organic food, organic fruits? Like I just saw that the watermelon came out of a container from Whole Foods. Is it better for you? Well if it's organic it is. Okay. If it's organic it is because that means it's not, it doesn't have any pesticides or um, fungicides. And, and there was just a study, a big 2010 study on children where so obviously it affects adults too. Mm -hmm. The children who had the fruits and vegetables and foods with a lot of pesticides, um, their levels of ADD skyrocketed, ADHD <coughs> skyrocketed. And when you took the kids off and gave them a pure diet, the teachers couldn't believe, couldn't believe the difference. The difference they thought they were like on a new medication or something. Um, and I just did a few ice cubes. You don't want to do too many ice cubes because you don't want to water the, um, the juice down. You want it to actually taste like something. So unfortunately, this is gonna take like 20 seconds of loudness, so. But thank you your questions, and get them into the chat room as, you, as we're waiting. Let's see, I, guess. I just don't wanna make this go all over the place like I do at home sometimes when I'm not paying attention. Let's see. Sign me up. There's some that. cups back there too. Let's see. Oh, yeah. you know what? Should I do those little yeah. plastic cups? I'll do the little plastic cups, and everybody can have some. I even have some straws. And I notice there's little cups in there too. Oh, okay. Whatever. Oh, yeah. right Look at me. I'm leading. Did you see how easy that was? Honestly, and you can do any blenders. You can get a blender for like thirty bucks at Walmart. Tiffany, you want it first, honey? Sure. <laughs> now there's no sugar in here, right? You saw. I just the natural fruit sugar is Lauren. Mm. Mm. Your face. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Right? Thank you. Thank you. Lauren, you want some? Sure. That was good. You guys? Camera mm -hmm. people? <laughs> it's really good. Very refreshing. Mm -hmm. After being out in the sun today, mm -hmm. come home and have one of these. So, I mean, obviously you save money by buying a whole watermelon and chopping it up yourself. But um, I just, you know, because I was coming here, otherwise I, I wouldn't buy the, the um, watermelon already chopped. So this is the oh, pomegranate. It's so good. Right? Pomegranate, watermelon, watermelon you saw, and, and ice. ice cubes. That's it. And you have an instant, delicious, healthy, refreshing drink. Watermelon uh, has... And I'm not usually a fan of watermelon either, I don't but either. I like this. Well, because you have to mix it with the pomegranate yeah. juice because it gives it, like, a good tartness. Tartness. Yes. A little bit of a tartness. This almost tastes like a... Like a virgin alcoholic beverage. It does. You know what I mean? Yeah, it does. Guys, I'm going to leave this here so you can taste it when you want. So that's how many drinks did we make? We made two drinks, right? And it's only 8.35. We made right. two, two foods, two drinks. Now we're going to do the, um, the dandelion. You want to taste the dandelion coffee? Yes. Hold on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best show ever. You guys, ask some questions while I do this. Mm. Well, one of the things that I wanted to ask you is a lot of times, I was actually just having a conversation with a friend of mine, that this, with the humidity, we swell, we just bloat. No matter how much water I drink, because that's what everybody says, drink a lot of water, and I just feel like I'm constantly bloated, and you just can't, even if you're in the AC, out in the humidity, whichever, it's just this type of season. So. Obviously, like I said, I know water helps, but is there anything else that you can think of that would help diminish the belly bloat? Well, that's, I mean, it could be different <laughs> things for different people. We talked about wheat belly earlier. Wheat belly. I have that. Lauren has wheat belly. I get wheat belly. No, what's wheat belly? <laughs> well, it's, it's, 
I don't, you, probably people have heard about gluten and go gluten free and all that and a lot of people think it's a fad but what I've learned through school and through um, my practice is that they change the, the wheat isn't the same as it was decades ago, it's a, called a dwarf hybrid wheat. It's and it's processed in a lot of things that you wouldn't right. want gluten in. Exactly, and it's a high, it's very high glutinous, like the big giant bagels and the big giant pizzas. Mm -hmm. They don't have that in Europe and they just have it here. And um, it's causing a lot of stomach distress and, and other things too, you know, like arthritis issues and irritable bowel and all kinds of stuff. So I just stay away from gluten. And that could be so good. It doesn't even have to be like a well, like bagel, it, like so everybody's different. That's everybody's I mean. different. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, bloating can be caused by like a poor diet or too much protein or not enough water, not enough vegetables. I mean, and this stuff helps. This is, okay. It's a Co cleansing. Yes, cleansing. Cleansing tea. So instead of coffee, um, which has a lot of caffeine and isn't that great for you to, to, you know, have too much of, this is made from dandelion root and it actually cleanses and it actually creates an alkal, um, alkalized body rather than an acidic body. Coffee makes you very acidic. You like that, right? Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I heard you say it's really good. And this will alkalize your body. Anytime you alkalize your body, it helps with weight loss. An acidic body has a lot of um, trouble dropping weight. An alkalized body, is, it's easier to drop weight. And that's why a lot of fruits, like everything here is alkaline, everything that I've made. So um, we're going to try. Sorry to interrupt. Sure. Can, where can you find Dandy Blend? I get this at Good Health. It's the only okay. place that has it, or you can get it online. And they even carry single packets yeah. too. So if you're on the go and you need something, you know, quick to add mm. into water. And like I have, packets, you can I have clients do this, and they they say, "Oh my God, it's twenty dollars. This is twenty dollars, but it's two hundred cups, so it's ten cents a cup." Wow. Right. So I'm like, "Why are you complaining? You spend about four dollars right. on a Starbucks coffee." So. So what does it actually taste like? Well, I'm gonna have to taste it. I hope you like it. it. I feel like it tastes. Like a I coffee. mean, I'm not a huge coffee. I don't drink like coffee. But I'm not either. So. It reminds me of coffee when I drink it. It's good. It's like <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it. It tastes like coffee. This if you add stevia, the right stuff to it, stevia is a healthy sweetener. Yes, yes. it's a healthy sweetener. Um, it's not gonna. It, it's a very low glycemic, and it's all natural. It's actually from a plant. It's not. An artificial sweetener, because an artificial sweetener is artificial, it's made with chemicals. This is actually made from the leaf. If you picked stevia leaves and you ate one, it's like, what is it, like 2 million times sweeter than yeah. sugar? Or I think it's 200 times sweeter than sugar. I just put a little stevia in this. We're going to mix some water. And um, I never made this with cold water. I usually make it hot and then add ice. So this is like I'm kind of winging it because I didn't, I didn't heat up the water, but let's see if this works. Oh, that yeah. comes out of the air. Yeah. Oh, good. Alright, I'm gonna put a little open. Will it go okay with the glasses? Yeah, because I'm only gonna put a teeny bit in just to like melt it down. That's all. Watch them all crack. <laughs> but this is great because Mix I up. I look forward to a coffee every day. Just because I think you're gonna like this. I it takes me away from going to my work, my job. You don't like your job. <laughs> you like this job. <laughs> I love this. I love this, and I love my medium work. That's what I'm here to do. But. I think medium's the coolest thing ever. I wish I was a medium. We all are. We're all intuitive. Yes, we all are. I, I told you I heard, like, I've been hearing sometimes. I hear mm -hmm. some things. I heard Hi Mom one day. That's really loud. Just crazy. That's because I'm just crazy. <laughs> 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 that was probably one of my kids, right? Yeah. Okay. And this. This dairy free creamer, creamer yeah, is so good. It's with coconut milk. What it's is it called? So delicious. So delicious. Can you get that at Whole Foods? Yeah. What? Can you get that at Whole Foods? You can get it at Whole Foods. You can also get it at any other. I think, I mean, I'm, wouldn't be, I feel like South and Shop has this too. I don't think they do. I actually looked. Really? I did not see it. Nope, I did not. I have to I'm so, like, and these creamers so come with flavors too. It's hazelnut and vanilla. Really? So make sure this yeah. is good. I'm going to take a quick sip of yours. Okay, like I swear to God it tastes like coffee. Okay, so is there any cream? Is that cream? This is, cream? This this is, is made like out of coconut, coconut milk. milk. So coconut it's dairy-free. Oh, okay. Oh, so oh, I stay okay. away from dairy, stay away from gluten. This is lactose intolerance. Oh, good, then you can have it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little scary for me. Yeah, that's the thing. Like about the goat cheese, though. The goat cheese is very easy to digest if you're okay. lactose intolerant. And it's only a little bit of Parmesan. 
So, I mean. Thank you. I get the pink straw this we'll I know. <laughs> I'm going to be nervous. My OCD kicked in. I know. So did Wow. Is it all right? Love it. You sure? I love it. That's interesting. <laughs> well, if you're like a coffee drinker, <laughs> if you want it sweeter, you can it's put more It's not really stevia. like, I mean, like the hint of coffee, but. But it's not really, it's, it's not, not going to be like, oh my God, it's coffee. I would, no, but, but I would totally. Like you get used to it. You I would totally it. change. Would you? I would totally, I am a changer. You save yourself <laughs> so much. As soon as I go to the store. You save yourself so much money. Mm -hmm. You really now I have to find where Quincy is, but I know where Quincy is. He and Oliver has it too. Good enough, oh. I don't know which is closer. I like it. But that's cleansing. That's it has cool. burdock root in it too, so that's very cleansing for your body. I really like that watermelon smell the best. Now is it okay it's if I don't cool. have, I mean obviously I know it is okay that I don't have the stevia, but would it be too bitter you think without the, because usually when I drink coffee I don't put oh, sugar in it. Oh, then you don't, then don't put it in it. If you're used to it, because it'll be it'll be like more like coffee, like black coffee, probably. Like that. Mm. I want the guys to. Taste but I think what I'd have to do is buy the so delicious, and the dandelion. So the, the so dandy, delicious dandy is right here. Yeah. So delicious mm -hmm. coconut milk creamer. It's just the best. It really is. Um, and the chocolate. Okay, it's quarter and nine. Let me see if the chocolate's done. Oh, it's almost quarter nine. <laughs> and then we get to eat. Well, oh, the chocolate's done. Chocolate's done. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> Steve, you have to try this. You have to try that. Try this. He doesn't want to grab the, the watermelon smoothie. Out. I want him to taste the smoothie. Oh, that's the what I smoothie's the best. Try that. Honestly, try that. you said you saw how quick it was. <laughs> I need like a. <laughs> I don't have a knife. Oh, this one. Yeah, it's delicious. Isn't that good? I need a little knife mm. though. What did I do with my mm -hmm. knife to um, mm -hmm. scoop the chocolate out? <clears throat> so, it. Lauren, is this does this? I'm, I know you guys probably said this already, but does it have caffeine in it? No, it does not have caffeine. Yeah. It's interesting. There's no caffeine. Right. Yeah, that's why I wanted you to try it. it. <coughs> really? Oh yeah, I drink a lot. Oh, I won't say anything because you'll laugh. <laughs> I won't laugh. I'll yell. How much? Now I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I don't want to know. I'm gonna block my ears. Depends on the date. Six. Five, six. <gasps> Stop. Oh my have, God. have the dandy blend. It's so bad. It causes something called adrenal fatigue. You have adrenal glands right above your kidneys, and they. Oh, the caffeine really. I can't even like <laughs> handle this show right now. <laughs> I'm so, so Susie, excited. you're coming back every Tuesday yes. for next year, right? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well, how are you? It took like forever for me to get here. And you could probably add. Like, I have, have to taste this though. I have to make sure I put enough honey in it. You could probably add different, like, like oh my that. gosh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You could add probably peanuts, maybe dried blueberries. But you saw how so easy this was, peanut. right? You guys saw how easy it was? What yeah, was it, like yeah. three ingredients? I don't know. Really, really down bonds. Bonds. I need to try. Okay. Wait, she's gonna go nuts. Yeah. <laughs> but they're frozen now, so they're a little hard to eat, so you usually put them in the refrigerator. I just want to see your right It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's, like <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh my gosh, Susie. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm kind of crying. Cry. <laughs> but did you see how easy it's so it was? Good. Well, the cranberries made it a little sour. I don't know if you like cranberries, but you can no, put but raisins in it's it. It's like a Christmas surprise. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a Christmas surprise. Wow. Mm. So good. I'm trying not to get myself in trouble with a laptop. I need you to <laughs> write things down for me. Sorry. But okay. did you see? So these are actually incredibly mm -hmm. healthy. I'm so making can, a mess. That's you can eat one. it. Oh, let me get you can have towel. it. You can eat it no, without. Um, no, it's okay. It's without delicious. feeling guilty. Hold on, wait. No, but no, it's no, not I like chocolate. That, it's look not at like me. Candy, you probably. Like used a no, I feel like it is though. I feel like it's like regular chocolate. Mm. Go ahead, have it. And if you go and buy like have the it. raw chocolate in stores, it's like nine dollars mm -hmm. for a bar. So you really can make it so much cheaper. I mean, this coconut oil will last me, oh my god, I don't know, six months or something. And then the cacao powder, this bag, this was expensive. I have chocolate this everywhere. is $10 for the bag, but this will make... You don't need a lot. You only need, like I said, this was three tablespoons, so you don't need a lot. Um, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yummy, right? Mm -hmm. So, a yeah. quick question from the chat room. Oh, sure. <laughs> What's the difference... Um, with organic meat. They can't seem to find organic in their grocery store. Oh, all right. Well, the thing is with meats, um, the animals are eating, 
you know food that they shouldn't food eat. that right. they shouldn't be eating right and like then grains and corn and and then the animals are usually given uh, it depends on what meat you're buying but I don't know if you just saw Diane Sawyer was on um, her show probably last week talking about these infections that people are getting in women especially women <coughs> infections that it's super bugs that they cannot cure it's like an E. coli and they're saying it's because all the antibiotics they're given to the chickens mm -hmm. it's um, resonating in the humans and that's, I mean, 75% of the antibiotics used in this country are on animals, mm -mm. not on people. I don't know if anyone knows that. 75% are given to the animals. And then steroids and hormones. And so basically, when I say you are what you eat, you also are what the animals eat. So if right. the animals are eating crap and then you're eating them, I mean, that's really what it is. And then you're going to feel like crap when right. you eat I'm it. really picky with my meat. Like, I won't even, if, if I'm at a cookout or something, I'll eat all other foods, but I won't eat any of the meats unless I know that they're right. the healthy meats because it's just, I've just learned too much about it in school. Are there any places, um, like Whole Foods, is that a good place? Whole Foods has meats, Good Health has meats. You can order meats online. Actually, if, they, if they're not at the grocery store, there's, if you, she just Googles uh, pasture-raised or organically raised meats. Um, they can deliver it. I mean, I know people who do that. I know there's a place in Vermont that delivers meats. Um, yeah, so it's very important. Any animal product is should be organic. Mm. <laughs> we make good this time. This is so good. I take time. Should I serve? Do you want me to give you some little? I, I definitely want to. Well, eat. I'm answering but, questions. I'll okay. serve the food. So the next question, which I was going to ask myself, is how did you, Susie? and Lauren, but I'm, I'm sure Lauren learned from you. Um, how did you get into this? How did you start all this and how did you discover your passion for wanting to help people? Well, I've always, I've had, Lauren was born in 1986 mm -hmm. and I had six children, so mm -hmm. I've always been into like reading books on health and I wanted to raise the healthiest children. Um, so I always like independently studied and then in college, even though I was an art major, I studied nutrition. And then I went for my master's in nutrition in 2007, and then that's when my son passed away. And when we went to that retreat I was telling you about, I met a woman who went to Institute of Integrated Nutrition. And I joined, and Lauren actually mm -hmm. joined the same day, and we both became, it's a year um, program, and we both became health coaches. So um, I, this is like all I do, this is my whole life, is helping people, because I know your body wants to heal itself. It doesn't want medicines, it doesn't want it to be sick. Your body always wants balance. Right. It's called homeostasis, right? Yeah. Your body always wants to be balanced and it'll fix anything as long as you give it the right food to eat. And that's why I'm really like huge on eating the right foods. So you can eat a little Italian salad. And you guys, this is the healthiest. You saw how easy this was to make. And I don't even feel gross right now. I can't right wait now. to try that because, oh, and I, I walked in and I was not feeling good at all. Oh. And um, so, so afraid. I'm like, oh no, the one cooking show we have. Mm -hmm. but. I really want to try all this. My my husband eats really healthy, and Does I'm, he? I'm a very picky eater. Oh. So, and he's in London right now, so he's not even watching the show. But I'm gonna have you to tell try him about some? it. Well, do you want to try some? Do you want to split, you guys? Or you want to split? Dish? Dish? I'm gonna get oh, another. Are you dish. handing this to me because you <laughs> want your own? Is that <laughs> Was that the? Uh... Oh, no, we can split some. Okay. No, I'm gonna get you your own dish. You guys, hopefully, have I'm a gonna dishwasher, wait for right? you. <laughs> we can do the dishes. I hate doing after. dishes. <laughs> That's like one thing I hate. I love everything else but dishes. Do you have any <laughs> tips for sneaking in good foods for babies? Oh, you can say that. She has a baby. Go on. Um, well, what I did, I made my son's baby food as soon as he could start eating solids. So he was about six months old when I started giving him solids. Um, so I feel like I don't really have to sneak much in with him, but I do make smoothies because I have an older son too. He's almost eight. Um, <laughs> so I get like a greens powder at Whole Foods, and I'll throw it in. Um, I have a Vitamix also, but you could use a blender. Um, and with some almond milk, the greens powder, a banana. Mm -hmm. And the greens powder I get is chocolate flavored. So That's when so I add good. the banana in there, it it's like more of like split. a chocolate frap. Um, but he's getting, because he's a super picky eater, my yeah. older boy. Um, so, <laughs> so he'll have, a smoothie because it doesn't taste like he's eating his vegetables, even though I try to give him That's a really his vegetables good idea, too. Like the best idea. 
I just got um, in the chat room, it says, Hey, Susie, it's Nate. Can you drop that food off at our house later? Oh, it's Nate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't live far from here. You should come and get some. Did you want some salad, too? Oh, she gave me hers. Some. So, so just yes. the scallions that I put in, what do they put the scallions in? The salad. The salad. Um, this is like a form of recycling. These are the ends of the scallions. See the little cute ends? Um, if you just stick these in dirt, soil, in a little pot, and water it, you'll grow a little scallion plant. So it'll re-sprout itself. It'll re-sprout itself. Oh, no. Sorry. What happened? But I'm not done with it. Let me just have to. I'll try to get another floor. All right. Any other questions? I love this. Oh, sorry. Can you put now, which one is your dish? That one's mine, the little one. That one's yours. Okay, this is hers. The okay. little dish, because I only have small portions. I have to admit, I'm a little afraid. I've never had feta cheese before. It's not oh, feta. It's goat feta. It it's goat feta. feta. Oh, yeah. goat feta. See? Mm. Oh, picky. I feel oh. bad that, that you're picky. Because <laughs> this is like hard food to eat if you're picky. Mm. to be brave. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? It's hard food to eat if you're picky, because mm. it has a lot of different... It's, it's really so good. So it's far, really so good. good. Now, you make a <laughs> I really like bean brownie. Oh my god, you're like a chocoholic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like to call her raccoon. Oh my god. But just she, also makes, she also makes brownies a delicious. Of beans. Yes, she makes that. So I do that like in the winter and fall because it's baking now. Yeah. It's like and cashew hot. dip. Oh, that's a good thing to make. That's cashew dip. Yeah, cashew. Remember I said the lasagna that I made had mm -hmm. cashew cheese? I make a dip out of cashews mm. that how, is really good. I was going to say, how do you make cashew cheese? Well, cashews that? are obviously a nut, but you soak them, and then you rinse and drain them, and they get all kind of swelled. When you mix <laughs> them with water and lemon and seasonings, it's like a milk. You could add you nutritional could yeast milk. and nutritional okay. yeast, like a so cheese. Well, it's not it really tastes, cheese. It tastes like cheese, too, but it, it tastes, tastes like, like cheese dip. That's what a lot of vegans use <laughs> for like that cheese flavor that you don't You'd get. You'd like it. You would. Because it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. This is like a whole other world Taste that this. I don't think many people know about. I mean, it's weird. I think like, I always feel like everybody knows about it, but then they don't. <laughs> it's right. coming out. I mean, <laughs> I know there's healthier eating out there, but it's just really healthy see it. food. It's just really healthy in all the colors. And you always, you feel, you'll notice. You feel like, good. You I feel tell good. people after one healthy meal, you'll feel good. After two healthy meals, you feel really good after a day. Then there's a week and then a month and it'll go to a year. You feel like a whole new person because mm -hmm. your cells all regenerate. You can tell it in your skin, your energy. I mean, both of you have beautiful skin. Thank you. Yes. Oh, because right, you know, we eat healthy and you have beautiful skin though too. And so do you. Thank you. Mm. So Susie, what do you have That's coming up? What's what's new for you? Because we only have a couple more minutes. Well, I'm going to be on WBZ Channel Four Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. I'm so That's happy for sad. you. So excited. <laughs> so nervous. Seven fifteen. It's a two minute segment. This was an hour. This is crazy. But uh, this is just two minutes of healthy eating for kids. So I have like I just have to speak for two minutes, have some visuals, and um, if they like me, they're going to have me do it on other Sundays too. So Which I'm they excited. will. They will. I'm excited. I'm getting a good vibe. <laughs> And just busy with the kids. I work at a chiropractor's office. I work at a pediatrician's office. I um, I have you know grandchildren. I help take care of and my own kids. So I'm pretty busy. We all are. <laughs> I always find that all of us that that We're do the the well-being aspect, whether it's mind, body, soul, whichever whichever avenue you choose, we always have something else that well, because meaning like that day job or <laughs> right. Well, because we can't say no to people either. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. No. What are we going to do if someone's like, Susie, I need your help. I, I'm so sick. And Okay. You right. know, and then it's like, I, yeah, I just can't say no. That's the way I'm, like, we're programmed. Mm -hmm. is. That's how we're programmed. Yep. We'll get it back someday, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think a big process through this is learning to set boundaries. I'm always saying I'm that. really bad at that. Me too. Like I'm just learning because we're all programmed to just do that one thing is to help. I'm just learning to say no to a lot of things. I've only said no um, to like maybe two people who needed my help in the past two years. Everybody else, and that even goes with like people who can't pay. I feel mm -hmm. so bad. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, you don't have to pay me, and then I'm like, oh my Wait gosh. <laughs> but that's just you know, it's hard. It's hard mm -hmm. to to say no to people. So. I wish the barter system was up and going again. <laughs> I've done the barter system. I've done it too, done but it I just enough. wish, as a whole economy, we could do barter system. I think more people are doing the barter system. 
pay, like it's trading time, mm -hmm. trading time instead of trading time for money, you're just trading time. Like you mm -hmm. have someone with a different skill, and you say, mm -hmm. "Oh, can you? If I, I'll help you with your health if you can help me with this." Yeah. I love that. I, I love that I do system. It. I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. So now, how can people reach you if they want to book an appointment with you and talk to you about? Health counseling. Well, they can go on to the um, Facebook page and they can message Wicked me. Wicked Good Health on Wicked Facebook. Health on Facebook. Three separate words, Wicked Good Health. And, um, yeah, I have all kinds of recipes and ideas and photos and um, health tips. Really, there's so much going on out there that people need to be aware of. Their Absolutely. food supply. People just, like, go about their day. I'm just looking at the Dunkin' Donuts cup. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 yeah, Dunkin' Donuts cups. People just go through their day... Um, you know, they just like figure anything they buy because it's in the supermarket or it's at a, you know, restaurant is good. Oh my, marketing, Very especially to women, you know, low fat. Right. Everything's low, low fat. fat. Try this tea, Sugar try that free. tea. Yeah. And if you notice, I don't pay any attention to counting anything, calories, or just the real food is not going to make you gain weight. Obviously, you right. can't eat this whole bowl, but. Um, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or the whole thing of chocolate, Tiffany. But I mean, hopefully you become so nourished from all the vitamins and minerals in the food, you don't, you stop craving Well, it's things. so good. Mm -hmm. But you stop craving I spit. Things. It's so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. But You're just it, staring at the chocolate. Oh, and a lot of it is so rich. Even the salads, you don't need that big, no, that big meal or that mm -hmm. big, you know. Mm -hmm. I but th this would be good though with like if this is all vegetarian obviously but you don't have to be a vegetarian to be healthy you just have to have the healthy meats this would be great with a piece of fish or chicken or steak or something on the side I always say as long as it's happy meat that's what I call it if there's any such thing you know <laughs> um, that's the most important thing to me so that's about it this is great Thank it you so is. much sure. for coming on Spare oh, Week. For over a year now, I've been trying to get Susie on, and <laughs> See, our schedules no. are so yes. no. Our, our like schedules have been like just so conflicting. So finally, you know, with the summer, it's a little bit mm -hmm. easier. Yep. yep. So um, I'm so happy that you're oh, able so to come and join too. us, and you're welcome Thank back you. anytime. Will you clean the kitchen for me? <laughs> Absolutely. After <laughs> I plow through that, and then plow through hey, that. I make a mess, don't I? Wow. No, you don't. No, like, they're all empty cups. I really do. <laughs> right. make a mess. But that's easy cleanup. We exactly. did good timing, right? Yes. We did awesome, really weird. awesome timing. Really good. Again, thank you, Susie. Thank you, Lauren, for being on Spirit Happy Connections. Nice. And if you guys missed it tonight, don't worry. I'm going to be posting it on YouTube within the next couple days. And I want to say thank you, everybody. Have a good night. And we will see you back next week on the 24th. We're going to have the DaCosta boys on from Rise Up Paranormal. Until next cool. time, have a good night. <laughs> <laughs>